guys, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to download an inventory report and what we can use them for. So when you are logged into your Seller Central account, you can hover over inventory and come to inventory reports. And here we can select which report type that we want to export. Um, so we have a lot to choose from. But the main three that I would recommend using is inventory reports, active listing reports, and the all listing reports. Um, so the difference between these three is the inventory report is going to pull um, all data on all your products, um, your current products. So if they're inactive, active, it's going to pull data on, on your current listings. Your active listing report is just going to pull data on your current active listings. And then for your all, all listing reports, this will pull... Uh, data on any SKU that has been listed on your account. So if you previously had a SKU listed on your account that is now deleted, um, it can pull data um, from that SKU. So I like to use the all listing report just because it has a lot of attributes that you can choose from um, under the customized columns. So I like to go in here, the customized columns, and select what I want to, rep uh, what I want to export. Um, so here we can export the name, item description, and the seller SKU and ASIN. Those will always uh, those will always export. Um, and you can just add, remove. So if we want to remove item conditions, item notes, these are things that we don't want to export. Just to keep things neat, we can remove things that we don't want to export. So if I'm only wanting to export the descriptions, the price, I'd remove all that. And here, this is what. Um, I will get in my export. I'll have my seller SKU, my ASIN, item name, item description, and price. And just make sure to save that and come over to back to inventory reports. And under the select type, make sure that you go back down and reselect all listings. And now you'll see that it says custom. This is because we messed with the attributes. So we'll select that and request a report. And this generally takes around a minute or two to download and we'll just wait for that okay so here we have our all listing report custom and we can download it so this is going to download as a text file but that's all right it's a little hard to read in the text file but we can control all and copy it over come over to excel and just paste it in um, and this will paste in neatly. And we'll have our, our SKU, our ASIN, our item name, description, our price, whatever attribute that we selected that we wanted to export. Um, and this is useful if we're working with a huge catalog. So if you have thousands of ASINs, thousands of SKUs, then you can use this inventory report to pull all of them. And let's say you want to upload A-plus content across your whole catalog and you have a thousand ASINs. This way you can easily just export all of your ASINs and then copy this list, go over to A plus content and just copy the list in and then hit submit. This way you don't have to go to your inventory, copy over one by one. This will give you a, a mass um, ASINs. And, and there's our many different ways that you can use this inventory report. If I was wanting to change the title, if I want to change the description, bullet points, um, I can I can do that because I have all my SKUs right here. And I can just use a Amazon flat file. But that is everything that I have for inventory reports. I hope that this video helped. And if you would like further training, you can head over to myamazonguide.com.